This is a model, the baddest model that you can possibly build out of a semi-truck that just happens to be an RC semi-truck. That's the only way I can explain this. What's up guys? Welcome back. Amazing RC, Brian here with another unboxing and this one is special. Now this is coming from the guy that just told you my last unboxing was special and it was. But this goes with the other box. So you guys might remember a few days ago I unboxed a Tamiya Grand Hauler. Special thanks to the RCL for blessing me with these amazing Tamiya products. Very, very excited. He also hit me up with the Unimog. He also hit me up with my SCX6 back here. You see glowing in the dark. Amazing individual. I really appreciate it. I've thanked you a million times online. I'm probably going to thank you a million times more. Thank you. Thank you to not only sending me some amazing Tamiya products, but also for bringing this community together. Because I'll tell you right now, since I've uploaded that last Grand Hauler video, I've had a ton of you reaching out to me, talking to Maya this, to Maya that, and, and I tell you, I've built Traxxas, I've built, you know, Axial, I've done all kinds of cool events and stuff, and I've never had a specific community like the Tamaya community. Even friends I've had for years now are different. Because they're Tamiya heads. They're like, oh God, you just can't, God, just wait till you build this thing. And that's, that's wonderful. And I tell you, that made me change my mind on something. And I know this is going to come across a little, a little random here, but you know I got the Unimog as well. And I was going to build that first. I was. However, I can't. How do I not build this? How do I not build this right now? How do I not build this the moment I shut this camera off and post this video? And the answer to that is, I, I, I just do it. I just do it. It's Grand Hauler all the way. Now, a few of you out there, most of you of the Tamiya crew, actually informed me I should probably build the Unimog first. To you I say, thank you for the advice. I took it. But then I changed my mind, and I'm going to tell you why. I've built a few kits. Not only that, because I know that this is no ordinary kit. I have built a few kits, including an SCX-10 III, which has two-gear transmission. It's got that e-brake, crazy e-brake, turny-turn thing. It's got a bunch of servos in it, a bunch of finicky parts, and I'm down for that. But... The one thing I didn't have with the SCX-10 III is you. You out there, my Tamiya community. I didn't have any of that. So, thank you to you guys, because I'm calling you, and thank you to the RC Elf. Let's get started. As you guys can see, this is a flatbed trailer. I've always wanted a flatbed trailer for my SCX-6, for my Bronco, everything I've ever built, I've wanted a flatbed trailer. I built one flatbed trailer and I gave it to my homeboy Gary. We swapped these really cool six-wheel drive China trucks, man. And I'll tell you what, it's one of the baddest flatbed trailers I've ever made, but I still don't have one until now. And this is probably one of the baddest flatbed trailers you can get your little paws on. Now, the reason I've wanted a flatbed trailer is because they are the chameleon of trailers. You can make this into anything you want. It doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever your little coconut comes up with, you can make it out of a flatbed trailer. For instance, let's say we had the gas trailer. Beautiful. Super chrome. More expensive than this. Doesn't matter. It's still a gas trailer. No, no. If you have one, they're beautiful. But it's always going to be a gas tanker or a liquid nitrogen or liquid oxygen or something's going in the tank. I could put sticks on this thing and I'm hauling logs. I could take a PVC pipe and put it on this thing and I'm hauling giant pipe. I could put my bouncy Bronco on it, which I'm going to, and it'll just be bouncing away as I'm cruising on down the street and I'm hauling Bronco. Anything you want. Chameleon of trailers. The flatbed. Amazing. I, I already know some of what's in here just because I've been researching the, the crap out of it. And I know one thing that this comes with a dowel wooden deck. 
Now I'm going to freak that deck right out. If you guys remember my last deck on the six-wheel drive, I actually took wooden dowels. I think they're actually the same wooden dowels. But I took the wooden dowels, I stained them up real nice, and then I stuck them in between carbon fiber flipped up on end. So you had a wooden dowel and a black line. You didn't even know it was carbon fiber. I knew it was carbon fiber. Gary knew it was carbon fiber. But man, did it look good. I'm going to do a little something special like that with the deck. So be on the lookout for that as well. I had this for about a week and a half. Didn't open it. Didn't do an unboxing. Why? Because it has an accessory as well. And that's this. This is the Tamiya MFC or multi-function controller. This is a work of art all by itself. This should have its own unboxing. However, I want to start building stuff. So we're going to do the unboxings together. Now, before I even get crazy with this, we're gonna set this off off to the side here for a minute because this this is this I can feel heat emanating from this box. There are a couple other things we have sent over to us via the RCL. We've got a Ninja Hobby Wing, I think it's like a 1080 ESC, I don't remember what the number is on this, but it's the exact same ESC that I've got, I'm pretty sure in the Bronco. Yeah, this little tiny black ESC is this ESC by Hobby Wing. Exact same product except for, it doesn't say Hobby Wing on it and the heat sink's black, which I think is really cool. So, Ninja ESC, but keep, remember this guys, for all of you guys out there that have built one of these big rigs, Remember this, because I'm not sure we're using it. Now, I could be completely wrong, but bear with me. So, got the killer ESC. Also, magnets, huh? Also, we've got my very first, a lot of firsts going on here today. My very first RC four-wheel drive motor. I've got a Holmes Hobby motor. Actually, I sold my Holmes Hobby motor. That went with my SCX-10-3, which I did have to sell. But, I've got... Big girl 80 turn. This is going to keep us super duper slow. Everybody has told me, minus one person, but everybody has told me that I need to have an 80 turn in here to slow this thing down. Because the last thing you want to do is freak it with a bunch of airbrush colors and then roll that thing right on over, which is not what I want to do. So, RC four wheel drive 80 turn, and I am a solid pusher of these this is those uh, and i call them cheapy because they're they're you know that's it, it's not a it's not a savox or anything crazy these are those little 25 kilogram servos man that we've got usually running the front of our rock crawlers two of these and they're gonna run i think the transmission and god knows what else so got those and awesome bearing set all these to my products are super old school they don't come with the wicked bad bearings Wicked Bad Bearings, actually for the Grand Hauler. So, we're good to go. Got that rocking and rolling. Guys, I'm out of parts. Let's get inside this box. I give to you... I don't know how to open this. Ah, he's in, kids. He's in. The flatbed trailer. Is that it? No, there's more. Ooh. Did I open this right? Trying to show it to you. Ah! Oh. oh my. Oh, I had to open it upside down or something crazy. I don't know what I did. Ah, wooden dowels. Nice. Got some wood here for the deck. Dude, it's that long. That's how long the flatbed truck. It's almost as long as my SCX6. Just to give you an idea how long the trailer is. God, I can't wait to back this thing up in a spot a quarter of an inch wider on both sides of this trailer. It's what I've always wanted to do. You know, you see these big rigs out there with these pros just riding out, backing these things up, jackknifing them all crazy in tiny little holes. I'll never see a real semi truck, but I will see one of these. So here we are in, in the box. And as you can see, we've got some metal parts. I mean, it's the good stuff. Got some metal parts here. And I think that this here, this might be the bottom to go underneath the wood. This is the decking. This goes underneath the wood. Look how long it's going to be. It's just crazy. So this, I'm assuming, is going to have, you know, maybe the sides on it somehow. You know, like this. And it's probably not how it goes. But, you know, like this. And then the wood's going to go in. It's 
Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Quality stuff. Chameleon of trailers. Remember that. I made that up. Big girl metal decking here. I've got it to where I can't reach it. I got it to where I can't reach it. Okay. Here's our book. The classic Tamaya super book that everybody loves. Ah, oh, this is cool, man. Now remember, I've got 10, 10 wheels already for the semi truck. This has got eight more. So we are now running with a real 18 wheeler. I just thought of that. This is an 18 wheeler. Mmm, this is cool, man. Got some really cool decal decals here. We've got Intercontinental Express and a bunch of numbers and letters and stuff. And then just like the Grand Hauler, we've got a box in a box. You're attacking me. I feel like I opened this upside down. I think I did. I did. This is all upside down. This goes over here. This goes over here. I don't want to ruin the experience. Oop, that's, as my buddy Steven put it, that's the good stuff. All right, so now we're kind of sort of where we are supposed to be. So here's our box in a box. Ah, cool. It actually shows you uh, inside this box here, killer, other trailer options. And, and one of them is the gas truck. So here's the gas, gas tanker that I was telling you about. Okay, it's always gonna be a gas tanker. This one here, sure you can paint it. The big box, box trailer. You can paint it, you put stuff in it, keep it out of the rain, but it's a box trailer. Chameleon of trailers, you can put whatever you want in it. Uh, does this not remind you of like the Red Rider BB gun box from Christmas Story? Hit me up in the comment section, tell me what you think. So anyway, <clears throat> got box in a box. Yeah. And this is our plastic bits. So we've got more rims that are exactly like our other rims. We got some, I'm not gonna try to pull this out here. We got some really cool, nice markers for the back. Got some clear yellow and some clear. I'll tell you what, the plastic bits are really nice. They're like actual finished, shiny, glossy black. Very nice. These are heavy for being plastic parts. Very heavy, I'm assuming super good quality. But more plastic parts. We've got more plastic parts here. So we've got a bunch of trees of plastic parts in this box. Very nice, very nice. No tires yet. I'm assuming they're gonna be in the little box. 18 wheeler. And it's just cool, man. I mean, how is that not cool? All right, I'm done with you. Now, the tiny heavy box. This box is, is, is literally a quarter of the size of the rest of the boxes and, and weighs three times as much. So like my buddy Steve would say, it's the good stuff. All right, fragile. Oh, this one just come right off. Let's fold you so you don't rip. All right, I see tires. I see tires. Now, metal bits. More metal bits, screws, and all kinds of stuff. Leaf springs. I've always wanted something that had leaf springs in it. Like real leaf springs, you know? Whoa. Oh, these are the chains. Oh, dude. Oh, this is so exciting. So in here, I've got the chains in bag D. You guys know where bag D is. Oh, little tire stoppers. No, little rubber tire stoppers. How cute. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, got some tires. Bam, bam. Come on, tell me what's up. Yo, boom. Two more axles of four. Wham, 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 wham. Make it a true 18 wheeler. This is our little stop that goes up by the truck itself. So, boom, then you got all the wood and then all the stuff. It's gonna be kind of like this. Eh. I'm starting tonight. I'm not even joking. I, I, I want to dig off in this thing so bad. And then just a couple more metal bits. Guys, I, I would tell you that I'm excited, but you guys are going to tell me I'm excited in the comment section. You guys you guys already know. All right, I don't want to scratch nothing. I'll put this in here the right way. 
Very nice, very nice. Throw some tires in here. This MFC is no joke. I've done a little research. I have not like gone gung-ho research on it, but I've done a little bit. And I'll tell you right now, the front of the box pretty much tells you all you need to know. Let me set this here and let me set our wood up here. I'm gonna box all this back up here real nice because I gotta build a semi truck first. So I'm gonna set all this on table number two. There we go. Oh God, I can't wait. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, so let's talk MFC. This basically, and I and I have a weird feeling that the ESC, and you guys are going to have to talk to me about this, anybody that's ever installed an MFC, let me know if I'm still using a regular ESC for this, because I believe that the main controller unit in this is an ESC. And because it does all this stuff, okay? I'm just going to try to read this to you real quick. Oh, I got it, I got it on the back. Okay, so we've got sound effects, okay? We've got... I don't read Japanese. I don't read Japanese at all. Let's try this side. Sound effects. We've got alarm one, alarm two, engine starter, idling, air dryer, revving, running without semi-trailer, running with semi-trailer, coupler attachment. See, that's the other cool thing. I remember the last video, I actually held up a little piece. I was like, I don't know what this is. It was the coupler. It was basically where the trailer slides on and connects to the truck. Well, you don't use the plastic one that's in the kit. You use this one. Because this one will be able to read that you're putting your trailer onto it. And there's a reason for that. Because one of the sounds is coupler attachment and coupler detachment. So it's actually going to do some chang ch ting or some crazy cool sound every time you connect the trailer and disconnect the trailer. Downshifting, upshifting, air discharging one, air discharging two, just in case you need a second discharge. Exhaust brake, brake. Short honk, continuous honk for those drivers. Turn signal one, turn signal two, hazard lamp. Back alarm, which I'm assuming is the beep beep backing up kind of thing. Parking brake and engine stop. Now. Those are all the sound effects. Now, what I'm assuming is, is this MFC-01 unit right here. I see these little wires sticking out. I bet two of those are motor wires. I'm assuming that I'm going to be running my motor off of this unit, and that's how it can tell what sounds need to be played when I'm going to, to give it the business. I could be completely wrong. Total educated guess. Electrical effects. I said that right. Has... Headlights, taillights, speed indicator, fog lamp, turn signals, backlight, roof lamp, hazard lamp, and auxiliary lamp. Let me know if the auxiliary lamp is the actual lamp that's in the inside of the cab. I think that'd be so cool. If not, I'm adding one. But it would be kind of cool if I could turn it on and off. So, lights. Sure, I can put a bunch of lights in it, and I'm going to. However, I'm going to install these lights as well, because these are going to give me my basic lights. Headlights, turn signals, all the stuff that you do when you're out just rolling around. The dual on-off switches I throw in there because I got a six channel. Uh, basically, I'm gonna be able to write or uh, uh, do um, you know uh, ground effects or more lights on top or uh, lights to light up the back deck. You know, any extra light I want to put on there, halos. You know, goofy stuff. I want to add more lights to the bumper, which is probably impossible because it has, I believe, like twelve lights in the front of it. I'm going to be able to do that as well. But as far as a, and I say basic, which is obviously nothing here is basic, but basic light setup in the box. One more thing. It has special operations. We have engine stop start switching. See, that's the thing. I think because it's on my transmitter, I'm using the MFC-01. I believe it gives me access to cutting the engine, uh, uh, starting the engine, Horn support leg switching. Okay, remember, this thing has two support legs that come on down. I'm assuming the ones that come with the trailer, you're doing like manually. They do have electronic legs that go to the trailer. I'm sure that that's what you would be hooking up here. Uh, we've got light on off switching, turn signal hazard lamp switching, running, revving, switching, revving, 
Apparently, I can just sit there and rev the truck. One of the things this thing has that is just bananas, besides everything I've already told you about, is it's got this little weight system right here, and I easily recognize it because I know what's in our cell phones. When your cell phone vibrates, for those of you who don't know, this is, some people know this already, um, you basically have, imagine a, a weight, a round weight on a motor. Bink! Just like a normal, normal, you know, uh, RC car motor, but tiny. And on that round weight, let's call it a dime, you know, it looks like a little dime, it's cut in half, bam, but it's still pegged in the center. When that spins, it's going to vibrate mm, and do kind of like, you know, it's going to do the vibrating thing that goes on in, in your little pocket when your phone vibrates. This is a bigger one. And basically, when it's idling, it's going to shake like a semi truck. When you hit the gas, it's going to shake a little less. When you punch it, maybe it shakes even more. When you get up to top speed, maybe it kind of calms down a little bit, but it shakes. It's got the shaky shaky is what I kind of call it. So I'm not going to probably pull all this crazy stuff out of here uh, and get it all separated because there's a lot going on. Oh, here's one more thing before I get in the box. All of this goes in the cab. <laughs> all of it. It has a speaker for the sound. Now, I mean, this is a pretty meaty box and it's pretty heavy. I'm assuming the speaker is a decent size. I mean, probably something, you know, goofy like this, you know, a little, little mini subwoofer or something, you know. Um, I'm, I'm excited to find out. Let's get in here and see what kind of, uh, you know, with the size of some of these things. I have a weird feeling that this is going to be special. I just don't want to get it all mixed up all crazy because I won't be getting to this. I guess some of it while I'm building because some of this stuff physically goes with... Man, there's a lot in here. This is, this is, this is... And the other cool thing is it's all to my All of it. Every bit of this. What are you? I guess brackets and stuff? Yo! Why are there chrome bits in here? Yo! Here's this special coupler. I guess this will be like box. Oh, this is the controller. There's like an actual separate auxiliary controller that you can like control stuff with. I guess I gotta build that. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God. I didn't expect it to have a bunch of plastic parts in it. I really didn't. I really did. No, oh, this is so cool. This is a model. The baddest model that you can possibly build out of a semi-truck that just happens to be an RC semi-truck. That's the only way I can explain this. Cool stickers. I mean, oh, cool. This, uh, this is uh, the, the cool little chromy chrome sticker that goes on the front of my controller. It's got some, some knobs and stuff. I gotta try to keep this. Here's our cool, here's our cool tell-all to my book. I have looked at the Grand Holler book. Uh, and it's cool, man. But this thing has its own book. I love these ones. These are the cool, cool ones in, in Japanese that tell you how not to run over your little Japanese sister. I always thought that was kind of cool. Okay, the speaker's freaking huge. I think that's the hole for the speaker. It's a freaking Coke can. Inside the cab. Man, ain't no way. Remember I was telling you about the weights? You know, the one in your cell phone is probably the size of an eraser off of a pencil. No joke. It's got to be inside your phone. It might even be smaller than that. Teeny tiny little itty bitty flaky nothing. Dude, the weight in this is the half of a silver dollar. And it's thick. And there's two of them. I wonder... I don't know. I'm not even going to speculate. Not even going to speculate. They're huge. They're huge. This thing spinning around in circles is going to shake the crap out of this semi-truck. You're going to visibly see it idle. I mean, come on. We got some deadening foam goodies here. This is my first to my build. Ha <laughs> ha! I can't wait. It's like literally start with the most extensive, craziest build you possibly can. I'm very excited. 
I don't know what this is. It's all wrapped up and I'm not gonna open it yet. Got all of our lights. Big old bag of lights, nice. I'm an LED freak, man. Love LEDs. I am blown away at how large this controller is. I'm not even, not even joking. This is crazy. Oh God, the speakers. I was like, where's the speaker? It's in the end of the box. Dude, now, now any of you guys that have set one of these, man, look at this thing. <laughs> look at this thing. This is an ESC. It's in here. Look at this thing. And it does. It there's there, guys, I knew it. I knew it. There's my motor hookups right there. This is my ESC. So this is going in the Unimog. Dun, dun, dun. Man. I mean, come on. Come on. This physically is the brain. Now don't get me wrong. The truck is gorgeous. Flatbed is amazing. It deserves this. It just does. I feel that the truck without this isn't at its full capabilities. And I've already read about this system, so I know what it can do. You are going to have your mind absolutely blown when you see and hear and feel what this little box, big box can do. I'm freaking out, man. And here's the other crazy thing. I noticed that some of the lights, I, I could be wrong, but some of them aren't used. So it's very possible that I might even have a couple because I've got these little white plugs. i got a ton of them. So I can even, might even be able to add a couple lights to it. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get that far. This, and, and when I say several days from now, that might not necessarily be true because this has to be built in the cab. It's a flatbed trailer. It's not going in a box trailer. This all has to fit inside that cab, which was empty just a short while ago. Now I'm on, I, I, here's our, here's some of our control box here. A little sticker goes on here. It looks like we got some buttons and some toggle switches and all that. This gets installed somewhere. All where you can't see. I mean, this doesn't get installed in the hood of the truck. I gotta see it. Dude, it's bigger than this one. Remember I showed you this? I was like, yo, man, I would have had a cool speaker kind of bigger than this. I don't want to hurt it. Yo. My Wicked Subwoofer. Doo -doo -doo, to my Wicked Subwoofer. This is going to pound some serious sound out of this vehicle, man. Ah, all right, I'm putting it away. It's a model that just happens to be controlled with a transmitter. I'm not even going to shove all this back in the box right now because I feel like I'm going to have to do it fast because I'm on the video and I want to make sure this goes back in relatively where it came out because I know that the Tamiya books are physically having you pull things out of specific bags and whatnot. I am up for this challenge. I promise you to all of my new Tamiya brothers and sisters out there, I will not do you wrong. This will be bad. And on that note, this is Brian, and I run a little channel called Amazing RC, and this is a big giant pile of truck parts that will someday, very soon, be one of the most magnificent tractor trailers that you've ever seen. So, we'll get you guys another really cool video very, very soon.